Hey everybody, Wildcat here. We're back to uh, do some more missions. Uh, we're over on Staten Island. Uh, we're gonna go do ray missions this time. He's got six. I'm gonna see how many of the game will let us do. Watch it, asshole! <laughs> Ah, <sighs> so the name, police officer, stand on the sidewalk when I stole this. <laughs> you are risking your life. Right, so his are all down, and uh, you get down here in the bathroom. That scumbag, McCaffrey! He took more bribes than anyone. He thinks he's gonna get an honorable discharge if he turns state evidence. He just squealed. He's under armed protection in Wichita property down in Newport, some apartment behind a car park. Dodge that place. That's it. Flush him out and you hunt him down. Make sure he never talks to nobody. So this one's over by the uh, the paint shop there and eat bowl. Well, this one there's a couple of things you can, I guess, do to do this one. Uh, what I like to do to make it easy is block the driveway there. So that's, we have to smoke them out up there. So what I like to do is come here and block the driveway. Uh, because this is the driveway. They try to go up. And it comes out. Uh, so it makes it uh, a lot easier to get them. And doesn't always necessarily work, neither. So you're supposed to burn them out of there, but I just use grenades, otherwise you have to keep switching everything. It's a pain in the butt. Except you gotta be careful here because these grenades tend to bounce back at you. So when I get a grenade in the window there, the garage door in front of us is where they're gonna come out from, right? And the guy drives out in a car, but there will be two peace officers uh, with machine guns shooting at you. Uh, and they take you down pretty quick, so. And it doesn't take them, even though it's blocked there, they'll push that car out of their way pretty much in no time. It doesn't take them very long to do that, so you got to be a little bit quick and a little bit lucky. All right, so here we go. Let's give her a shot here. Got lucky there. <laughs> Been a long time since I got it in there the first chat around. Call our cars. Officer required in the Newport. Oh, there we go. We got him. One's gonna live alone. That's the one drawback to doing it that way though. If they do happen to get through there, you're kinda hooped because you you know, you won't get anything in time before it says they got away. Um You know, if you want a bit of a challenge, as they say, you know, you get him to come out, throw it up there, he comes out of the window. Uh you could park your first car and come in here and over here against the wall here and they won't touch it they'll go out they'll, they'll go around it completely that way 
And then uh, when they open the doors, you could switch to a gun and shoot those two cops shooting at you. Or, and then run and get in your vehicle and try and chase them down. Or you can t take your chances, just run to your vehicle and get in it and try and chase them down. Alright, but then you're chasing them all over the place and odds are they'll get away because you get the wanted stars and you know what it's like when uh, you're trying to get away from the police when you have a, a wanted level. But that by far is the easiest way to do that one. Okay, so we can like to have a van for doing his next one. Uh, well, Lancaster will probably work. I just want to grab one now because I know dang well after I save it and come out. Um, I probably won't find one. Hey, Chick, over here. An old army buddy of mine runs a business in Rockford. We saw action in Nicaragua back when the country knew what it was doing. Anyway, some cartel scum roughed him up yesterday. Said they'd be back for some of his stock today. He's going to need backup, and in return, I'll give you a knockdown rates on any hardware you buy. I'd go myself, but the old sciatic is playing up. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> good luck. All right, so, uh, mission number two, three. And again, uh, when I saved it, I got my armor back to 100% life. So this is the Army Surplus Store. So after this mission, uh, you can go there and buy the uh, bigger weapons like the rocket launcher, I think the M16. Expensive though, they're not cheap. So I'll show you the easy way I found of doing this. This thing's tall enough. <laughs> Might not be. Guess I'll find out, won't I? Alright, let's put her on the... Make sure I'm machine gun up just in case. And you can't get in the tank, Please it's locked. Ahead, but I thought there'd be more of you. Can't believe those yellow belly bastards left me without proper cover again. Well, three arms are better than one, so grab whatever you need. Those Columbians will be here any minute. So they have the rocket launcher. Oh yeah, I bet you this thing ain't gonna be big enough. Spawns up above on the can. That's why I said I needed a van. Uh, if you have a van, you can uh, come on, get up there. Okay, we're not gonna make it. So they come in these trucks. There's four in each truck. If you get the rocket launcher, you blow the trucks up as they pull in, and you're good to go, right? See, now I got them coming up behind me. So they go after him. So he's the one you have to protect. You can. I don't know why that's why that switch. Gotta learn to lose this stupid wheel. Alright. There we go, one more. A 
All right, so that's the hard way of doing it. <laughs> hey, no if I teamed up with you in Nicaragua, maybe I'd still have my arm. If you need any firepower, just drop by and take what you need from the lockers. Leave the cash under the bench. Now get out of here. I'll handle the cops. So as you can see, it's uh, uh, those guys were pretty expensive. I think the pump shotgun we get the other thing for free. And now this truck here uh, needs to go to the uh, import export there in Portland where the crane is. Uh, this is classified as one of the emergency vehicles you have to take there. All right, so. I'm going to go back. I'm not going to bother driving back. I'm just going to reload this and I'll do it again and see if I can't uh, show you the easy way of doing it. Great phone to head, but I thought there'd be more of you. Can't believe those yellow belly bastards left me without proper cover again. Well, three arms are better than one, so grab whatever you need. Those Columbians will be here any minute. So grab, <clears throat> so grab these three here real quick. Uh, get over here. Okay, turn, jump. No, don't go off. <laughs> Jesus. Oh man, sometimes you grab that thing like nothing, other times you have a hard time getting them. Alright, so this is the, uh, you'll see, definitely, this is the easy way of doing this. Uh, you gotta watch out because two guys will come up behind your back. Lock and load. Come on, come on, third guy, third guy. Let's go, 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 go. There we go, got the third guy. Alright, I always forget to use this wheel. I don't know why I just do. You want the right. If you stay standing here when you shoot the rocket launcher and turn around, then the, those two guys will actually stop here um, and start shooting at you. Uh, the problem with it, the reason I was trying to say this problem, what happens is you shoot the first guy. And the second guy's behind him, and while that guy's standing there, wobbling back and forth, waiting to fall over, the guy in back of him is shooting you, but you can't shoot through to, through him to shoot the guy at the back. So I was just trying to thought it might work a lot better if we ran around up here and tried that way. Um, really, it didn't. I guess it doesn't really seem to matter too much. I mean, maybe the other thing you could do if you were standing here and you shoot the trucks at the rockets when you turn turn on the flamethrower because uh, then it wouldn't matter of course that will go <laughs> go through the guy in the front right but anyways that is the easy way of doing that um, yeah, I guess I might as well go ahead and well, hey if I teamed up with you in Nicaragua maybe I'd still have my arm if you need any firepower just drop by and take what you need from the lockers leave the cash under the bench now get out of here I'll handle the cops So, and as you can see, this stuff is quite expensive to buy, but now you have access to rocket launchers. Uh, this guy here, this 6x6, <laughs> he needs to go over to the import-export with the crane over in Portland. He's considered one of the emergency vehicles. And I'm not sure, I think if you leave him, if you don't take him uh, when you first capture that and come back, I'm pretty sure he's not there. Uh, you know what? I'm going to just take him and do it now. Uh, and again, the tank, you can't get into the tank. It's still locked. I'm not sure when the, when the tank becomes unlocked. Alright, so I'll get this guy over there, uh, get the game saved, and be back to do another mission.
I know a real important man in town, a soft touch with, uh, shall we say, exotic tastes and the money to indulge them. He's involved in a legal matter, and the prosecution has some rather embarrassing photos of him at a morgue party or something. The evidence is being driven across town. You are going to have to ram that car and collect each little bit of evidence as it falls out. When you've got it all, leave it in the car and torch it! We're both gonna do pretty well out of this, kid. Alright, so this one only starts to become a little difficult because, of course, as soon as you start to ram the guy, you get the police on you. That makes it a little bit of a pain in the butt. Oh, <laughs> get for looking at the mini map. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, look at that, it's coming right at us. That's unusual. Okay, so, and then all you gotta do is ram them and he'll throw a thing up. The drawback to it is that you can't ram them and knock three or four off. You can only knock one off at a time. Now, I'm not sure what happens in this case because I've never seen that. Oh, they made them disappear. I've never seen them do that before. And like you said, when, as soon as you ram them the first time, you got two stars, and then that's the, this is when it becomes a pain in the butt. Wow, man. Kevin. Oh, they put him back right where he started from. That Oh, of course, it has to be going the other way, right? You seem to do that with them as well as, you know, when you, you're going, ah, oh, I got out in front of them, I can you'll turn around and go the other way on you. <laughs> I didn't know the car would pick them up. Oh, I guess it'll pick him up if he's no, 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 on the ground. Wow. Hmm. Didn't know that. Well, that'll help make things a little bit easier uh, because you can just stay chasing them. Because when I was testing this mission before, I was hopping out and grabbing them. And of course, then he gets away on you. Or a lot further away on you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I knew that was coming. He's not going to be able to get it now because he's getting hammered by the police. There we go. All right. Having the two stars is a pain in the butt, but eventually, uh, if you get it to hit three stars, then uh, it's almost impossible to get anywhere. All right, so we get, uh, I think, only one more to go. Yeah. Now we have to take the car and torch it. All right, where I'm going to do that is over by the pain spray. Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> okay, forget that idea. I thought we might get left alone in there, but uh... <laughs> all right, let's get we to come in the car park. Do it in the car park.
All right, here we go. Torch this baby. Uh, I guess you could use the flamethrower. Uh, uh, but we'll use the molten cocktails. I think it takes a couple of them to. Oops, that one went too far. Ah! <laughs> Just tried not to do. So that was uh, mission number three of his. So we've got three more to go. And now, of course, we have the Donald uh, missions we can do now. The Donald Love missions come up. I think my partner's a rat! We gotta shut him up permanently! He goes fishing out of his boat near the lighthouse on Portland Rock most nights. Steal a police boat. Make sure his backstabbing plans are sunk. I want him sleeping with the fishes, not eating them. All right, so we're back with uh, mission number four for Ray. We need to steal ourselves a police boat. Should be able to get one. Down here, there's usually a couple. Now oh, we'll go to the second dock first. One. Ooh. That's why I hate jumping into these things. <laughs> but you look far enough away that if you just walk to them, you might fall in the water too. Wasn't sure. way I guess they say it was definitely nice when they brought out uh, San Andreas and uh, you could swim in the water Well, it wouldn't matter which end you, which way you went when you got the boat. If you grab it from where I grabbed it, uh, <laughs> uh, he's about the same distance either way. Well, see, now that's one hell of a way to fish, eh? <laughs> Jesus. So, I'm going to assume he'll be throwing grenades at us. Ah, that's gonna hurt. Okay, so he doesn't throw grenades at us, he throws barrels at us. Oh, wow. They're having us use our gun, not the boat gun. <laughs> that's amazing.
Ah. Come on, back up, baby. Yeah, not figures, eh? Well, that's one way to take him out with the boat. <laughs> it seizes. All right, so that's uh, mission four. Uh, now we're over in Portland, so I'm going to save this. And we'll be back with uh, mission five, Ray. Useless bastard! You totally messed up! My ass is on the line, and you can't even kill a goddamn fly! I paid you good money to kill that witness, and he ain't dead! And today he's gonna make a federal deposition! He's being moved any second now from the Carson General Hospital up in Rockford! If he squeals, I squeal! Alright, so here we are. We're uh, back here to do uh, Mission 5 for Ray. Um, we're already tempted this one a couple of times. I've never pre-done it. And wasn't, wasn't sure what to do, but I think I haven't figured out what to do, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to redo it again uh, just so I can... <laughs> don't look like a total uh, doorknob. Now that I have an idea of uh, what to do, so... Uh, it would appear that uh, you have to ram this ambulance and the, oh God. the guy that we ran over with the boat of course never died and uh, so they're transporting him in this ambulance so we have to keep hitting the ambulance to get him to fall out of it and then once he falls out of the ambulance we have to run him over to kill him because the the cast is bulletproof and fireproof uh, so if you what I found uh, that was as soon as I shot at the ambulance I got three stars so I guess as soon as we give it a bump you get two stars but getting three stars well if you've gotten three stars in this game you know what it's like trying to get away from it. <laughs> it's just insane uh, so, shooting an ambulance, to, if you try to shoot them, the damage just goes right to uh, zero. You know, you have to get the, the body to fall out and then constantly run them over. I've blown the ambulance up with a, with a rocket launcher, so that's how I found out that he's... You can't blow him up, he's bulletproof, he's uh, fireproof. But the other thing you might want to try and do, which of course I always keep forgetting to try and do it with, is with the heavier vehicle because it might... Uh... Alright, so... Let's go see if we can't get rid of some of this mayhem of the police here because of, you know, it's not, now we got three stars on this. Come on, don't flip over. So I know there's a star down here that we can grab. So this will, uh, as you can see, two is a lot easier to deal with than three. Stars on here. Oh, don't tell me you took them away. Okay, it was in here. I knew there was a star down there somewhere. I thought it was before that. I guess I was wrong. All right. And now what we'll do is we'll go back up the uh, highway here and get uh, the other star here that's in that little uh, little cutover road right here. Oh, don't flip over, you piece of crap. <laughs> Jesus. Come on. God. All right. So this guy was... Where is he? Oh, they got him sitting over there. 
too much. You hit them, big damage. Uh, you can't shoot them, you can't burn them, so there's no point in even trying to do that. The only way to get them is running them over. I mean, at this stage, if you really wanted to, wanted to, you could get rid of the cops completely if you got your, uh, uh, you know, if you go get to one of the other stars, get rid of that last star. Oh, there we go. The star one did go away on its own. But for some reason, it's not letting me run him over now. I don't know if it's just because of the way that he's, they got him laying here or what. Oh, come on. Now, let's see if you gotta hit him with this more speed again. Uh oh. Well, that's pretty gnarly. I mean, I got no stars and that guy shot him. Who was it that shot him? Couldn't have been the police. <laughs> well, you definitely want to do raids missions before that gang gets after you. Come on, get in the car. Well, this is just getting gnarly. Oh, it's not going to let me run him over anymore. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> finally. insane. Alright, so I'll uh, go we'll get this saved up and uh, oh, we can't do race uh, number six mission. Um, the only ones we have to do now is Donald Love. So I guess we'll be uh, starting his missions.